If you're anything like me, you'll prefer simplicity. After all, when we want to achieve something, why on earth would we want to make it more difficult than it needs to be? Well, that's the perspective I'm going to be looking at in this tutorial, in that, well, we've seen how we can use programs like Dreamweaver when we want to self-host our podcast, but I appreciate not everybody's going to have a copy of Dreamweaver, let alone know how to use it. So, here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through a process of being able to have your podcast hosted by a third-party website company, and then we'll let them create all the background necessary code so that we can simply copy and paste it, and if we do have a copy of Dreamweaver or a different website editing tool, then we can simply place the code where we want the actual podcast to feature on the page, or we can give that code to a web designer and they can place it on our page for us. Now, there are millions and millions of different available sites that do offer podcast hosting. Some you have to pay for, and some are free. So, I thought you'd prefer the free version, and that's what we're looking at here. We're looking at this website company, Podbean. There's their web address up at the top left. All you'll need to do is create a free account, and then publish your podcast. Simply by uploading your MP3 file to their server, they'll generate the code for you, and then you copy and paste that code onto your website somewhere, and that's it, job done. Now I've logged in here, so all I want to do now is click on this button to publish. I'm now taken to this page, where yet again I'll click on this button, publish. It's at this point if you want to upload a different file, or the one that you are working on, then you would simply click on here. Notice that with the free account, you get 50 megabytes of available space for nothing, more than enough to get you started. So now I will click on here, so that I can choose the file that I want to upload. There it is, I'll select it and hit open. Easy enough, that quite small file uploaded very quickly. Therefore now, I'll give it a quick title, Parallel Circles 1 Test. If you want to choose an image, remember how we've talked about this previously? Well, you can do here. I'll browse to choose an image from my system. I'm not really too concerned about it being all that suitable, so I'll choose that one. That gets uploaded very quickly. Consequently now, similar to what we did within WaveLab, I can add some textual information here now to help describe and identify the podcast. And then finally, simply hit publish. And there we go. I now see within this dashboard, there is my first podcast. Right then, that's the first stage in the process. We've now placed our audio file, this podcast, on their server. What we now need to do is take some code that this company have generated for us, place it on our website, so that whenever anybody looks at our website and clicks on the particular button, it will play this podcast. The difference is it's not hosted on our website hosting company, it's hosted on this particular company. So let's go about embedding the code. Actually, just before I do, notice that you can customise this player, and this is the player that's going to show up on your website. There's the image, there's the title, and of course you can see the play button. Now I want to change the colour of this. I don't want it to be plain white. I'm going to go for a blue. Now that's a bit too dark for me, so I'll go for the lighter one. If I want to check it, first of all, to make sure it is the right audio, simply click on the play button there. It hadn't snowed in December for decades. OK, no problem. Right, let's grab the generated code that we are going to use to embed on our website. And it's down here where it says embedded code. I'll select it and copy it. Incidentally, just before we do that, notice over here you can share this podcast on any of your favourite social networks. Anyway, all that done, I've copied the embed code, so I'll flick over to Dreamweaver again. Here's that rather blank page I've already created, and within this second column, this is where I want that Podbean widget to show up, so I'll place the cursor inside here. I have to move over to the code view. I can't copy and paste that generated embedded code within the design view. So, within my code view, making sure I'm at this position, and this is only this position because that's where we placed the cursor when we were at the design view, so now, Control plus V, or Command plus V if you're on Mac, paste that embedded code exactly where we want it to be positioned. OK, there it is. Here within the design view, we only see this grey rectangle to indicate that this is where it's going to be placed. What we'll need to do to view this properly is preview it in a browser. So I'll flick over to a browser, and there it is. Perfect. Let's have one final listen to this. I'll click play. Here we go. It hadn't snowed in December for decades. The last time was before the 2017 English Civil War. Tonight, however, 
as light faded fast, a monochrome Manchester sky was heavy with thousands of independent flakes falling in swirling silent circles that formed a unified white blanket that smothered all below. OK, perfect. That's all we need to do when we want simplicity. Simply upload your MP3 to one of these free podcasting websites, tinker around with it a little bit to add in the text and an image and even change the player colour, copy their generated embed code and then place it where you want it to be positioned within Dreamweaver in my case. So now when we look at the browser, it all works seamlessly. Perfect. As I say, simplicity is always the best way.